Oh, oh my goodness. Come on, bring it in. Oh, I say, exciting. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I see. You've gone for the attack approach. Yes. It's not giving much away at the oh, moment. Oh, my goodness. It's talking here about screen sizes for each projection. Oh. I think it might be a projector. Wow. But it's so small. Wow, a... Right, oh, we're going to need cover. to... <gasps> that's your lens, that's remote control. So we won't have to get up on the ladder. Run's yeah. voice assistant. Oh, that's going to make life a lot easier. Yes. Amazing. That is so Absolutely incredible. Amazing. So you got what you wanted and so dinky. You could also watch it at different places around your home. So initial reaction from you guys seemed quite positive. Yes, nice surprise. Yes, we thought straight away, let's pull the screen down and let's see a movie. So let's see how you got on with this projector by using this projector. Oh, <laughs> I like what you did there. The 360 degree sound from the projector is really, really impressive. More than adequate. And colours are very good. And the projector itself is so unbelievably quiet, you could not realise it's there. So 10 out of 10 for that. The fine tuning has been a little bit of a problem. The focus is a little bit blurry. We had a quick look in the manual. Now that gives us an option of automatic focus or manual focus. But if we go to automatic, it does go in and out of focus and then try and reset again. It's still not very sharp. So it's been a bit of trial and error. It's been a little bit frustrating in parts. Are you happy with that, Nadai? It's not ideal, but we'll try it again. I mean, actually, I think that's quite clear now. You're not happy that it's not a little bit sharper. I will add, Baz has just said he's just taken his glasses off. I'm not sure if that's going to make things better or worse. This projector will self-focus and self-level. The automatic levelling... There you go. ..is just a dream. You just li literally plug it in and off it goes. Alexa, play inside the mind of a cat. The remote control to do the voice activation part. Sometimes it worked, but sometimes it didn't. Alexa, play some smooth jazz. Takes a few seconds to load up. And there you go. It's very practical in terms of to move from room to room or to take with you uh, on holiday. Very easy to do. How incredible is that? And that's right at the peak of the house. So it means if we're in the kitchen, we're messing around, we can either catch up with, you know, whatever we want on the screen, or if we want some background music. But um, it takes up so little space on the worktop. I mean, you really wouldn't notice it. It's very, very quiet. So we've come upstairs now to bed. Boris has joined us. And we just thought we'd actually see what it's like on the wall in the bedroom. I have to say, the phone image isn't doing it justice. The actual image on the wall is really, really clear. Quite incredible. Literally just picking up the projector, coming upstairs, plugging in, and it's immediate. So, another tick in the box. Good night. Another tick in the box. So, some teething troubles to begin with, but happy by the end? Very much so. Yeah? The fact that it's such a compact little unit, you can't help but want to take it to different rooms to try out and to experiment. Baz, do you miss climbing up your stepladder and, and getting in your hole in the ceiling? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> there is a battery pack that can be attached to the projector. It works and lasts for about three hours. OK, okay so enough to get through a uh, decent a good length movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, we noticed that you switched from the native Bixby yep. to Alexa. Why was that? Because... Uh, Alexa was easier to control. OK, then. Well, the price of the projector is £459. Would you buy one? Would you buy one? Yes, I would, because compared to the other projectors, is cheaper. You're right. Projectors are actually quite a mm. high-ticketed yeah. item. So on when you're speaking about projector prices, that is yeah. pretty decent. 
So that's a big thumbs up for the projector and a big pat on the back for us. Not only have we sorted Baz and Sue's movie night woes, when it comes to upgrading their music listening experience, we also found them the perfect voice-controlled speaker. It's probably the attic for the CD player, and now it's welcome new speaker. 